Some of the other features you will see on your MyCollab desktop client will be things such as contacts, chat, as well as call history. When it comes to your contacts, it will be on the left hand side right below the home icon. You'll click on that and you have three options you can choose from. The first one that you will go to will be selected called groups. You can build contact groups of people that you make all the time and you can also group people together to start group chats with. Personal contacts gives you the ability of linking your Microsoft Outlook with your MyCollab desktop client. The last thing you have here is corporate. Underneath corporate, this is your direct link into the phone system controller. So what happens is anybody who has an extension reference on the phone system, it pulls all that information into your MyCloud desktop client underneath the corporate directory listing. And you'll see that on the right hand side, you will have it categorized by alphabet, A through Z. So if I wanted to jump to the J's, it'll jump down. You can see I have Jack, I have another Jack, I have myself and Jim as examples, but it will jump to that part of your corporate directory and it will be by first name. If you want to simply scroll, you can scroll up or you can scroll down. And when you scroll up and scroll down, it will also show you the person's information as far as their name and what their current state is, if they're on the phone or not. If you click on the person's name, it'll open up the details. So underneath my account, for example, I have my status currently set for working from home. When you see a little green icon right next to my picture, it's going to show you if I'm on the phone or not. So if it's green, it means I'm free. If it was red, it means that I'm busy and I'm on a phone call. Below that, we have my extension number listed along with my email address as well. If there's any other information on here that's tied to my account, it'll be listed here as well. If I wanted to back out of this to go back into the corporate listing, just hit the back arrow and it will put you back under contacts for the corporate side. Now, when we talk about your personal, if you wanted to tie your contacts in from your Outlook into your MyCloud desktop client, what you would have to do first is you can go to your settings, go to general, and you'll scroll down to where it says personal contacts. When you go here, this is where you can turn on the ability of linking in your Microsoft account to pull in all of your contacts. Once you do that, you will then see, and it might take a few minutes for this to happen, it will populate the personal contact category of your MyCollab client. That way you have your names of anybody that you might have in your Outlook pushed into your MyCollab desktop client. And what happens is, is when you want to call somebody, you can go under contacts or personal and you'll see them listed here and you can call them just like you do when you select a person from your co uh, corporate contact. You can open it up and choose the option to call them uh, or up in your search and dial field up at the top, you can type them in by name, however they're spelt in your Outlook contacts. The last category here under contacts is groups. So I'm going to select that. With groups, if you wanted to build a contact group, you can click on the three dots to the right of where it says contacts, and then you'll select new group. What you will do next is select um, a group name. So we are going to type in test group. And then what you can choose to do next is add participants. So I'm going to hit the plus sign there, and then I'm going to pick and choose. So I'm going to type in a person's name, select them. Maybe I'll throw Kim in here too, add her as well. And then I'll add in Brian. So maybe those are my three contacts that I want to add in and it will show me I added Bernadette, Kim and Brian. And if that's going to be it, as far as this new group that I'm setting up, I will click done. And then at the bottom, I will then select create. And then it's created my new test group with three members. Now what you can do is you could open this up. And again, it's just another quick way to see your people, you know, as far as who is on the phone and who's not. 
But if I wanted to take this group and start a group chat with them, I have a chat icon here and it gives me the ability to start a chat with them. And if they respond back to me, I will see that in this group thread. So I'm going to back out of this. So that's one way of setting up a contact group. And it's nice because when you set up a contact group, this is how you can do group chats with people as opposed to one-on-one, -on -one, which is what we're gonna jump into next. The next section is for chatting. So right now, when we go under the chat option, it's gonna show me my active chats that I have open. So what you can do is to the right of where it says chat, you could create a new chat if you wanted to, or if you wanted to work with an existing one, you can just open up the existing one you have, and then you can continue on with that current chat thread. So let's create a new chat. And then I'm going to type in a person's name of somebody I want to chat with. So we're gonna type in Rob's name. And if I wanted to chat with Rob, I will select his name. And I could do multiple people here, or I could just do the one individual. And when I'm done choosing that person, I can hit done. And then it will open up a chat thread with him. All right, so that's how you can do it under chat. But sometimes what people like to have the ability to do is if I go back under my contacts, and sometimes this might be the easier way of doing it, you can go into corporate, search for the person that you wanted to start a chat with. So I'm going to start a chat with Bob Haddix this time, or Robert Haddix, do somebody different. And you'll also see that you have the ability when you look up a person under corporate, you can call them, you can chat with them. So if I wanted to chat with Rob, I can then also click on his little icon there. And then it's gonna open up a new chat stream so I can chat with Robert Haddix. So anytime you're chatting with a person, you know, if you happen to start off on your home screen, you'll see that when you click on chat, these are all your open threads. So if somebody does decide to chat back with you, typically what would happen is you would have a number value in the chat icon that might say a one or a two, just letting you know that somebody is chatting back with you. Now the other um, item that we would wanna look at is the other section here called call history. When we open up call history, by default, it's going to show you every single call coming or going or missed calls under this first category. So the one that's selected is just showing you all calls coming, going, or missed. If you wanted to look at a breakdown on your missed calls, the little arrow that bounces back is your missed call history. The arrow coming in is calls coming into you, and the arrow going out is any outbound calls that you made, whether it's another extension or any outbound calls that you made to an outside phone number.